Thanks for watching. I just want to say in advance that this is not exactly a how to do an oil change on a 2004 Mustang. So this video is really for entertainment, maybe some information. Uh, it's not really instructional, uh, psychological, medical, or legal advice. <laughs> I'm not showing you what to do. I'm just showing you what I did. If the video is too long or you don't like music, I'm going too slow, or maybe I didn't explain something clear enough, feel free to read the manual yourself. It's kind of a little bit of a love letter to my family and my little sister, really, because this is something I've always wanted to do, just work on cars and things like that with the family. I'll explain more in a little bit of a story at the very end. But there's some chatter with my sister. My mom comes out, asks some questions. It's not strictly how to do an oil change, so I'm just letting you know in advance. Now, at the end of the video, I will show some stills and a little video talking about the tools I used. But if you also appreciate some big brother and little sister family bonding, well, then you might get something extra out of it. So maybe I'll talk to you at the end. change on my mom's 2005 uh, 2005 Ford Mustang. Uh, I have it up on, on ramps so we want it up high and I put it on the curb so that way the curb is kind of going down. If when you want what you want between the car it, the reason it lets the car up is because you want space under it but it doesn't matter if you lift the car up or you make the ground go down. And so in this case we're making the ground go down to create a spot a pocket for you know my body and to do the work and the the tub that's going to hold the uh, oil you're going to dump in there stuff like that you have to have room for this thing decide yourself uh, so you can do this and this one it's not going to fall down it's not on jacks that might tip over nothing here is going to tip over it's impossible and like i showed you in the other video you know or you can just put you know one tire on the street and one tire on the curb and then i did it in the gutter because the, the ground's not going away obviously the ground's not going to collapse on you <laughs> Some people don't like these props, I do, because I, they won't fail. The, that bar is not going anywhere, but the gas strut might. Because, because the way it's set up here, it's actually kind of almost level. You pull this out. And we're going, you have to wipe it down first. You see where it's uh, checkered? You want the oil level to be in between these two holes, and the checkered area is, is normal. It's on one side only, but the holes are really the, like that's minimum, maximum. If it's past the hole, for example, it's too far. It's too it's too full. I mean, then you would have to drain it. <coughs> Overloading the the oil in your vehicle, uh, you'll end up you could end up causing seals to fail and stuff like that. So you you want to overfill. You don't think, oh, I'll just put extra and it'll be last longer. You're gonna end up breaking the motor, and it's under so much incredible pressure. So you can see there, it's actually down towards the uh, lower half of the checkers. It's almost low. So it's a good time to do it. If you want, you can talk and ask questions too, just in case I don't explain something. Okay. Um, well, I'll, I'll say, so I'm, I'm, my sister's helping me shoot this for, for a change. Instead of having me prop things up and magnetize it to the wall or something. Hello world. So my sister's gonna help me with this. Uh, so the first thing is do that. So it looks okay, we need it, that's good. I mean, now we know. You wanna open this up. Uh, that tells you what's what oil to, to use 5w30 it's built onto the cap and you open this a little bit to let it vent you can just leave it like that just loose so air can flow in you don't have to take it off then underneath we're gonna set up so for the drainage yeah so this is I think the oil here I'm gonna double check with the book I want to make sure I'm not <laughs> yeah. taking off the wrong thing 
but this looks like oil to me and this is the, the oil can you see up here this is the um, oil filter there's over here yeah. that white thing yeah, yeah. that's the oil filter so that's going to come off and then this looks like the oil bolt here yeah yeah okay so, yeah. which one is it okay um now i'm going to get out again because i'm going to look at the book to make sure okay so it's uh 16. is it 16 yeah 16. let's see Harley. uh it looks like this is it here it's not the same as in the picture but it's close enough i think and um I'm going to try to use this ratchet, but it might not uh, have enough leverage. We'll see. Put it on here. So you just break it loose. That's all you need to do for the beginning. If you can. Yeah. So if you need more leverage, all you need to do is get a longer ratchet. This one happens to be extendable. So now I got leverage. Yeah. This ain't going anywhere. I mean, this is coming off. I'll guarantee you that. Uh, there actually, there's a frame issue here. I'm just noticing, and maybe it won't be able to use it. Oh, because it's in the way. Yeah. The frame's in the way. The frame's in the way. Looks like I'm blocking it. Bummer. Let me get it on there first. We'll make sure. Yeah, it is blocking yeah. it. Well, that's not impossible to overcome. And luckily, we have the technology. So. Of course, you have the tool. I brought it. Because you're always case. prepared. I brought it just in case. Good job. All we needed is a little extension to, to push it away, click to clear this obstruction. Yeah. So we uh, put that on there. And then this thing goes on this thing. Oh, yeah, that's smart. Now you can clear the frame. Now it'll be away from that, but it's enough room for the socket. Amazing. That's so smart. <laughs> it's ancient technology. It doesn't work. Around. Oh, get over my shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost not enough. It's almost not, it's still hitting, but yeah. it, and now the ratchet can get out of the way. So now I can pull from way over here, if you can see all that. Yep. And uh, it's going to turn like that, see? Oh, wow. Good job. Okay. Now it's hitting the car and the yeah. ground, so I can shorten it so that I can get more yeah. of a swing. Amazing. The, I've used this thing several times. It's yeah. always like saves it's the day. It's a lifesaver. Yeah. Always. Every single time it's been like, oh, I more know. leverage and now I can make yeah. it shorter and it gets out of the way. It's awesome. So when you when, when you do these things, yeah. you, you know, you you can crank it off, but what you want to do is push put downward pressure onto the bolt. Yeah. So that you're kind of helping seal it. Yeah. And uh, at this point, I would take it off the ratchet. You don't need the ratchet anymore. Yeah. Because it's so loose. Because it's so loose, and I can just unscrew it by hand. So I'm pushing down. See how it's dripping? Yep. Yeah. 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 So helping it. Uh, uh, it's only dripping a little bit because yeah. I'm pushing it on. Okay. If I start to pull, it's going to drip more. Yeah. Yeah. And then when I feel like it's going to, it's completely free. It's cleared. Yeah. Then I'm just going to pull the whole thing off. Yeah. At least that's the theory. Well, it seems like a solid thing. Now, eventually, it's going to like click when yeah. the, when the threads come to the very end. Yeah. And that's when you pull the whole thing off. Uh oh, that's really coming off now. So it's probably already cleared. Yeah. Woo! See. Yeah.
instinctively moved the camera away, even though I think it was plenty away. Look how much I got on my tool. But yeah. guess how much I got on my hand? Yeah. Nothing. Amazing. Amazing. Now the uh, oil. Oh my gosh, it's totally pouring out. Yeah. Like a lot, a lot. Yeah, it's, I think it's six uh, quarts. That is not what I expected. You didn't? No, I mean, I've never seen it happen, so I don't know what to expect. <laughs> what did you think it was? I thought it would be a little bit. You thought this bit. would be like a rainbow or something? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> uh, now, the oil filter is up there, so I want this also underneath there. Now, you see, as it, as the pressure releases, of course, you know, it dribbles less. Yeah. So, which means the stream is moving. Yeah. So don't put it over here and think I'm set and then you know you have it like this and as it starts to yeah, yeah, get yeah. less and pretty soon you're missing your your, yeah. your bucket. The same thing for the um I can feel it made the it made the uh, pan hot. Yeah. The same thing for the oil filter. Whoops. It went, oh that's okay. It's just a, a nut. There's some dripping. Yeah, it just dripped on your hand. Yeah, I saw I felt that. It's dripping like right where your other hand is. It's coming down from the car. Here? The frame, yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah, I don't know why it did that. Yeah. I think it splashed up yeah, to here it and it went over the edge or something. Yeah. But that's okay. So uh, you changed the oil filter. So now too. my oil filter is this white thing here. You might have to come around the other way. Oh, it's warm. Oh, I see it. Yep. Yeah. And this should be hand tight, but sometimes it's not. So I can try to do it by hand. And by the way, if you can't do it by hand like I'm doing now, it does help to put latex gloves on. You get a better grip. Yeah. You will get a little bit more out of it, like you're trying to open a bottle of ketchup or something. Yeah. Oh, it's coming. Yeah, it is moving. This will also start dribbling, and it's going to land all over this area. So you move the bucket. So you move the bucket. But I'm also going to put a, a plastic bag here yeah. to help hopefully channel it into yeah. here and not make such a big mess. So this is just going to give it some place to go to, okay. to help channel it as opposed to it just splashes everywhere. Yep. What are you holding? What's that can? The can is brake cleaner, which I was going to spray down a little bit. Got it. And we're definitely going to use it afterwards to clean it up a little bit. So if I just put this like this, it, this is, everyone tries these little experiments and they never work. So this will probably just make a bigger mess than I'm trying to, than I'm trying to avoid, but you never know, it might work. I just want to give it some place to go and not get all over the yeah. whatever this bracket frame of the thing is because it's right underneath this yeah. so now as they start to unscrew it more you're going to see it start to leak and I hope it doesn't go down my arm yeah. is it leaking? Oh. yeah it's nice and warm too, by the way. Yeah. But you do the you do the oh. bottom first. That is kind of hot. That fell in the, the bucket. That Perfect catch. Fun. Okay, so now we just let it drip for a while. Okay, it looks like some got on the concrete a little bit over here. Oh yeah, you're right. I see that. Um, we'll have to clean it up yeah. later. But look at look at the bag. Yeah. So it did work a little bit. Yeah. It did. It did prevent something from getting. It just overshot a little bit on this side. Yeah. You have to like you know try to yeah. over, like that. It should have yeah. been like that. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. yeah it but was that's a how you bit, learn. Yeah. You know. Oh, it was and now I know. A little bit too close to you. Yeah. It was. But we're good for now. Yeah. So let's just uh, take okay. a break and wipe my hand off. Okay. I'm gonna stop recording. Okay. So now, hopefully, this did its job. It looks like it, it helped protect some oh. of the splashing. Or from pouring all over the place. So that's good. Now all I gotta do is throw that away instead of cleaning up all this. Um, you can see there's some dribbling there. You just wipe it off. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. By the way, um, before what you should have done before, what I should have done before is, but this isn't my car, so I, would, I didn't come here yesterday. You want to look under the car to kind of just make sure everything looks okay. You see a lot of oil stripes and blasted back onto the transmission or whatever. That means there's a leak somewhere. So there's a whole nother problem. It's not just going to be an oil change. Um, like I showed you on my truck earlier in another video. Uh, you could see it's dripping oil. So I knew that was something. It turned out to be the sensor. Uh, now here's the bolt. Have a good look at the bolt, by the way. You want to make sure there's no pieces of metal stuck on here 
Which inside shavings. shavings, that means it's inside the motor, which is a big, super bad sign. <laughs> yeah. You don't want that. Then you need a new engine. Yeah, so that means it should have done, you should, this is an old job that should have been done a long time ago, probably. But this looks okay. The outside feels kind of gritty and dirty, but hopefully that's from the outside, not because it was laying in oil that came out of there with metal shavings in it. These are the kind of things you want to look at. Yeah. You have to do this job to, so you can see what's going on. But when you when you take when you do this and someone else does it for you, like that guy we talked to earlier, I never done that. Yeah. Well, he doesn't get this information. He doesn't know what's going on. He just you know suddenly the car is breaking and he doesn't know why. So it looks like it's paint. Like this bolt is painted yeah. for, to protect yeah. it. But now with people uh, unbolting it and bolting yeah, yeah. it, it's broken the paint off. But you know this looks okay. So we clean this up. Wipe down the area here. Put this back in. I start it by hand. I usually unscrew it until I feel it step into the groove. Yeah. And then screw it on. Yeah. Obviously, these are nice, clean, oily parts, so it's not yeah. rusty or anything. It's just ha no hassle. And uh, we'll get it like that. Wipe down your dirty tools. And it back on when you do this I think it said the torque rating was 19 pounds or something so I'm over here now getting this back on uh, but what matters is that the thing doesn't leak that's all you care about this right. isn't holding on a wheel or anything like that so just nice and snug so you can crank it on with this nice uh, roto head ratchet and then really give it some extra love but it doesn't have to be super tight because the last thing you want to do is strip this now you're yeah. going to replace yeah. the whole pan it's a, you know, obviously a big mess and it's stupid it's for nothing you're not making it better once it stops ripping that's all you care about now i'm going to get the let's go upstairs for a second and we can look at the at the uh, filter okay i should have done this before i went down there so this is the filter this is going to be the uh, part number. Unboxing. Yeah. Isn't this exciting? I got the Motorcraft one. Look how nice and clean it is. What you generally do is lubricate this with some fresh oil. Okay. Or even the dirty oil. It's fine. You're just going to lubricate this. Some people like pouring oil in here. Uh, if it goes straight up and down, it's not so it's just a bad idea, but sometimes the filter goes in sideways. Yeah. So obviously if you fill and this up and then you're out. like, now I'm going to do this, you're just going to make a bigger mess for, that you caused. Yeah. So in general, I wouldn't do that, but if you want to put some in there to make yourself feel better about it, yeah. it's all going to go in there. If you run the car, after it's all done, you run the car for three minutes, five minutes, and then uh, and it, when you see on the uh, dipstick, Oh, it's low now. Well, that means it went into here. So then you just add a little extra, and then now you're back to normal. Yeah. Just, you're not really saving that much time putting it in here and then guessing later. Okay, so now we're going to put this on. Okay, so we're going back under. Going back under. Meet you down there. Okay. Remember how you said it splashed over there? It's on the cardboard too, but... Yeah. That's a nice reason I have the cardboard. So I'm taking some of the dirty oil from the pan. Okay. And then I'm applying it to the ring here. So this is the uh, what gasket. Is that, what does that help do? It helps it not... The seal? It helps it not stick. Okay. Oh, okay. We okay. don't want this part sticking inside there. Okay. Which, by the way, you, it does sometimes, especially if the, the last person who did it yeah. cranked it on real tight. Yeah. Um, but you can also look up there. Number one, you can look up there and see there's no gasket, there's no black line. Yeah, yeah. Number two, you can look at the bottom of the, ga of the thing you just took off and you can yeah, see it's yeah, still there. Yeah, so yeah. now you know it. I don't have to worry about it. Because yeah. if that gasket gets stuck up there, I'm not paying attention. I put this back on. Now I got two things. Yeah, yeah. When you turn it on, it's going to spray yeah, <laughs> oil everywhere. Gonna, there's not going to be a seal. It won't be a seal. It's going to make a huge mess. So you really want to make sure that's fine. And that's also, you know, cheaper. This isn't a big deal. You're just looking and you're checking. Yeah. And now you know it's okay. It's not a complicated thing, and that it makes a big difference. Yeah. Just wipe off a little bit there. Tidy up here. Now I'm gonna put this on. 
another thing is sometimes if you let's pretend I filled this up but to get it up here I got to twist it and turn it you know then it would be slopping oil everywhere so it's uh, to me it's better just to stick it on there I mean uh, have it empty and fill it up later I don't know if you can see if you I'm can trying to get it. come from this side maybe shot. look at me over here put the okay. camera over here oh yeah okay spin it on and then just like it was before basically hand tightened yeah so then I can get this out of my way I get this out of my way and uh, so you don't have to tighten it anymore no I do I'm just saying I, oh, I, but okay. I need the right angle got it I have a, a wrench for it too but similar to the uh, this you don't want to overdo it yeah because uh you're not making it better once it's tight and once it's not going to leak that's all you care about you don't want to manhandle it there's no reason to crush it or you know yeah. break anything yeah. now you never would probably doing it by hand i'm still yeah. it's still turning a little bit but it's not like yeah. uh-oh yeah. if i had a tool then you really got to be careful then you can really screw it up fast okay all right so that feels like it's back together i'm going to try to use the longer one again to get it back on Is this for the bolt? Yeah. Yeah, but see that feels tight enough that's yeah, good yeah. it was already good now it's just a little bit better but yeah. it's fine i'm not gonna do more okay so that's basically it so we're gonna go up down drag everything out yeah and uh check the level of the oil and and fill it and fill it up first i mean and then yeah. we're gonna check the level okay does the oil oil the it's inside we need to change it, right? The oil is drained inside the tub. Yeah, it goes in here. You can actually see it inside the, the reflection. And, and how do you dispose that? Uh, I put, when, I, when I put this in here, then that's empty. And then, you and then put I put this in here, and also, and then you take it to the, uh, most places that, that uh, sell auto parts and stuff and oil, they take the dirty oil, they take the old oil and they recycle it for you. Yeah. So when I return this full of dirty oil, I just put it on the table. I say, "Here you go." And they go, "Oh yeah, put it in the basket." And then, it, then it magically disappears. I don't know what they do. <laughs> oh, God. It's amazing. You're really like, amazing. Like here, this thing. You're really I can amazing. Use for this, us. So I don't have to keep touching it. I'm making a mess. Look at that. He knows all the stuff. And, but the the more important thing is that you know the part, the, the part number. I mean, so you know. Yeah. You, oh, oh, see what happens. Uh oh. Right here, right here. Yeah, the oil has a way of getting everywhere. It does. Everybody knows my car. Knows me. Just think of it as a protective film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now, take this off. That way you don't forget it. Take a funnel. It bends, it doesn't go in, doesn't allow it to go in all the way. Good old American oil. <laughs> Sealed in America. Imported from Saudi Arabia. Ooh, those fighting words. <laughs> Do it sideways? Yeah. Oh, that's smart. It won't, it won't, you know, slop all over the place. So this is six, I think, five, which is what it said it should be. Yeah. Oops. I went and stepped in there. Yeah. So let's just give it a second. Anything leaking out of the box? Nope. 
Where did you buy the thing? From the part, from the place where I bought the oil. But they go to you? No, I bought it. Mm -hmm. I kind of got too big. I should have gotten one step smaller. But, you know, I just like the idea of having one that will accommodate everything. This is like if you're working on a big truck. Oh. Uh, the, and I think this holds like 24 ounces. But your car needs six, so it's way overkill. My car needs six. Over, and yours is five and mine's six, I think, actually. Or you're going to uh, change the oil in more, more than now, Or if cars. I was going to do two or three cars, like if I was going to do mine and yours today at the same time, then, you know, it's good to have extra. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it's unnecessary. This is like for a big truck, a diesel. How much did it pay? It wasn't that much. It's only plastic. Oh, it's because it's just too big, you can buy a small one. Yeah, I was even, when I bought this, they had a small one. They had one for 16 ounces. So I'm like, hmm. That's a little bit more appropriate, and it also fits under the car better because it's not so tall. But the thing is, that the first time you did. Yeah, I didn't know. No, you know. It, it barely fit under my truck. I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm like, uh oh, maybe I got too crazy with the. But it does splash, so maybe yeah, the bigger. Yeah, but it, the bigger surface area is a lot yeah, better. Yeah. Actually, the bigger top. And do you believe that? Because the other one is like maybe. Do you believe two thirds that, that tall? We, we made it at the right time because it's getting dark. The golden hour. Just to get an idea. This is going to be a general idea. It's not going to be the end result. Yeah, it still needs more. I think it still needs more. I don't even see any oil in there. Maybe oh, there it is. In there. Nice. See? It's like halfway, it looks like. See this? Yeah, yeah. Difference? Yeah. So it looks like it's halfway like it, up. Like another quart? Another quart wouldn't hurt. I think. Which I did actually buy. Good job. Just in case. And this is other car? No, it's the same, but just extra. Oh, extra? Like, there wasn't enough. Because, oh, I see. So you knew that you had to buy more. Well, it's supposed to be just that. But sometimes you need more. Oh. Did you think you need the whole thing? Yes, I think it might. Because you we'll stop the there. What happened? Blows up. Did you put the mark? Explosion. No? You don't, think, you don't believe me? <laughs> Run for your life. I think it's higher. It's closer to the second dot. So the rest of it? I don't know. I don't want it to get over the dot. Okay, so maybe we split, split the difference. We quit while we're ahead. Yeah, maybe. It's, I think we're good right now. Okay. Yeah, I think it's already high. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So, so because like, also when you turn it on, we, we it's gonna run, it's gonna go into the filter. Yeah. And that'll absorb some. Yeah. And then we'll check it again after you run it for yeah. five minutes. And, and then you write it in the book that you need six. For right. That. Or whatever it is. Yeah. Almost six. It might be a little bit more than six. It, it all depends on what's what ends up being left behind. You don't you don't end up getting every little drop out of there. About those yellow ramps that I'm using to hold the front of the car up. I actually didn't buy those. At my mom's office back in the day, there were a lot of homeless people and they would often bring all kinds of trash and clothes and garbage. One day, I saw one of those sitting in the front yard and at first I didn't know what it was. Once I realized, oh, that's a ramp, like for lifting a car off the ground. I started looking for maybe the other one because I knew there had to be a pair and I found it. So I suddenly I had these two that the homeless people had brought finally something useful I could use instead of something I had to throw away. Now my mom asked a question about that, making a little joke. How the homeless ever knew that we were, you were going to use that for free? I don't know. <laughs> now I'm glad they showed up and then left it. And, and how do you figure to have the little camera? It is really cute. That's what I use when I go on my motorcycle rides to record the ride. Oh. I put it on the side of the, of the bike. So, uh, well, we got to put the lid lid okay. on. Hang on, let me catch it. Good deal. Okay. I think I think it's a quarter turn, so you start like this, and then it ends up landing. Yep. So you can read it nicely. Just so it's not upside down. That's. Yeah. If you're if you're uh, into that kind of thing, it's irritating. 
Oh, we can probably just turn it on. You have to close it. They're in the car. We're going to check the... Now, I had it running for maybe two or three minutes, so let's just check the oil again. See what went, went into the filter, or what didn't, whatever happened. Give it five seconds. Yeah, it looks like it's just at the top of the... Perfect. At the thing. Perfect. Can you see that? Sort of. Oops. I think it's up here somewhere by the red, yeah, yeah. by the blue, by the uh, hole. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me do it again just to make sure. It doesn't show up on camera very well. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. Awesome. It's Good, great up. job. Everything's closed up. Caps are done. Things are in. Uh, now I'm going to put my tools away. Okay, so here's how to uh, refill it. If you have a big enough funnel, a big funnel like this is nice because it, it, you know, catches a lot of mistakes. But you want to kind of wedge it against something so that when the, when, when you, I'm pouring it, this is going to be for carrying the dirty oil now, right? So I'm going to dump it from my container into here. Uh, the, it'll hit the wheel so it can't tip over, nothing's going to fall over, and the more this fills up, the more bottom heavy and secure it ends up being. That's the theory at least. I mean, aim for the center, but if it never splashes around, the, the, the whatever your support is, is, you know, keeping it from uh, tipping over everything. Is the idea. Also, as long as you make sure that whatever you're pouring in is less than the volume of the container you're pouring it into, you'll be fine. You know, if I had eight liters, eight, eight, eight quarts in here for whatever reason, and I'm trying to put it in a five quart jug, that's not going to work out. <laughs> so be mindful of that kind of thing. Now this is heavy, so it doesn't worry about tipping over, so you can just. Make sure it's completely upside down. You're talking to me? No, I'm talking to the camera. Oh, you got to do better? No, I'm using the phone. Oh. Okay. I think that's about all my back's going to take. Yeah, you got up and down a lot. This is the thing off the little gasket. So that's, you know, 99% of it. You're never going to get it all, but there's no need to. Yeah. On the way home, I think maybe drop this off. So the job is over now. Obviously, we got it done. And I just want to review uh, the actual tools I used in case it wasn't quite so clear. And just a little bit of a background, not really a story. My father used to, my father had a bunch of craftsman stuff. This isn't one of his original boxes, but I do have some of his original tools. And he used to tell me stories about uh, him and his brother working on cars, you know, back in the, whatever it was, 40s, 50s, which I always wanted to do with him but he ended up dying before we could really do anything i just got an old car a 1969 triumph tr6 and was beginning to work on it we were talking about it he was he actually looked at some of the electric uh printouts you know blueprints of the, of the electronics to help me sort out a problem which actually did work but he two months later he passed away so we never really got to do anything beyond that i had another friend that helped me a lot with it his name was steve he was also a big craftsman guy. But that kind of got me started on this uh, family. I wish I had a family. I wish I had a father or uncle or somebody close but, uh, besides my friends to work on cars with and stuff, which I never got that. So this, my sister came to town for my, she says my birthday. And the same month, same year was also my mom's 60th anniversary of coming to the United States. So she was kind of coming for both of us. 
um, you know, so it's fun. We hung out and had lunch and, and had dinners and stuff like that. The whole family, the three of us. And I, I, one of the things I said is, okay, for my birthday, what I want to do is work on mom's car, changing the oil, and with you helping me, sort of, whatever you can do. And it just ended up being, you know, just monitor the camera. That's already actually a big help. Any people know, you make videos, you know that just having somebody on the other side of the camera, actually, that's their job only. You can get through the, everything else on your own. Uh, that's a huge help. So anyway, that's what I ended up doing. So in a way, I got you know a little bit of what I wanted, my little fantasy of being with dad and through my sister. You know, there was a little family connection there, and sort of happened. We'll see if I can, if it ever happens again, that'd be great. But if not, at least I got that. This is the uh, three eighths Rotohead Ratchet. Uh, this is what I tried to use and also the if in the video you can see that the roto head ratchet actually did fit up there This was a half inch adapter because they don't make this in a half inch drive So I just got an adapter so I can use my half inch sockets, which is in the video you can see I'm doing And they should be proud of it. I still really like this knurling, you know, and it's just for what I like It doesn't mean it's for everybody But to me it feels awesome. Some people want to want a handle, you know plastic handle the the oil the oil pan was a bit a little bit too tight for the um, length of this. I and with under I'm on my back and it sets upside down and everything else, you know. So I needed more leverage. So I ended up getting this nice ratchet. This is awesome. I was, it's like I said in the video, it saved me millions of times. I love that it's just a collar that tightens. Then it can be any size at all. You, you know, it, you can just move it like this. That's all I need. Okay, fine. Lock it there. I need a little bit more. Lock it there. Because most of them have notches. So it's like click, 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 and whatever it is, wherever the click stop is, that's fine. That's where, If that's what you want, it's great. But if it, you need something in between, you, it's too bad. There's nothing to hang on to. It's just going to slide around and fall into the next closest click. So, like, let's say, you know, I need it longer, but it, there's maybe a wall or a wheel or the, or the ground or whatever behind, and it can't be that quite that wide, that long. And then you're in between. It's got to be the shorter side or, or whatever. This one, it can be any, like, li literally infinite amount of length between the two different, uh, you know, extremes. All the way shut or, or all the way open. And so this has saved me many times. I'm not crazy about the plastic handle. I'd rather, I, I would have loved it if it was something like this. But uh, it's not terrible, you know. I don't hate it. I just don't love it. I just like metal. But I, I live in, you know, Southern California, so I don't I have to deal with working on cars at freezing temperatures. This is a uh, old Craftsman spinner wheel type of thing. And I bought a few of these sets. My dad had one of these on his uh, 3.8 drive. Here's that. This is, this is actually my dad's original wrench. It. It's all beat up. But it still works. So this, this spinner was always on there, except for it was a plastic one, which I think eventually broke. It started tearing into corners. So when I started getting these uh, metal ones, the original ones, from the same era as, as this ratchet, which I think is like mid 60s. It still works fine. I just didn't need it this time. But I just keep it with me. Yeah, I mean, it's a simple, most basic uh, 3 8 ratchet, almost possible. I don't need it very often, but it's nice to have. Because this head was so big, as you saw, I, I needed to get this uh, extension to help clear the frame. Well, luckily, I just put, uh, put this in. I thought, ah, maybe you never know. I really didn't think I was going to need it, but it turned out I did. Oh, for and then of course I needed the 16 inch. I mean 16 inch, 16 millimeter socket. This is from the set. This is the one I used. You can still see there's oil in there. Uh, 16 millimeter coking. This is their surface drive, I think they call it. It's supposed to, you know, not rip up paint and plating. 
anodized surfaces. So, so it's, it's supposed, and it's also supposed to give extra firm grip because, as you can see, it's aiming for the for the flats. Now, besides the right socket, obviously, you're going to need the right oil, oil filter, a container to put the used oil in, and I would also recommend, you know, roll of paper towels or some shop rags. But it's not a complicated job, so give it a try. Let me know how it goes for you. So now I'm going to end with a few pictures of the some stills. And I appreciate you watching, and I hope you got something out of it. Take care. That's hilarious. <laughs>